Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, English size them, and then make funny noises. I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and divine gardener, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we rejoin that dreamy wonderland that is Kabashima and Oda's Shochan Adventures. In our last episode, Squirrel and Sho went wandering in the foothills where they were attacked by flying tengu heads. Yes, that, that is a thing that happened. <laughs> you can check out that episode on this channel, but for today we have... May, may, may you? No, you read it from right to left, actually. So, you may actually, dreams. Or maybe just dream. One dream. Whatever. Let's get started. One day, Squirrel and Sho had gone out into an open field where they laid themselves down in the fresh spring grass. <sighs> but as they were lying there, Sho and Squirrel suddenly sat up when they felt something itching on their backs. Hmm? To their surprise, there was something sprouting from their shoulders. And in a matter of moments, a pair of beautiful butterfly wings had grown in full. Oh, man, yeah! While Squirrel and Sho stood gazing off into the middle distance, or just into the distance, a gentle spring breeze blew through the metal, metal, meadow. And as the wind blew, all of a sudden, Sho's body began to float up into the air. Whoa. Squirrel was in a panic as he too softly rose into the air and followed after Sho. <laughs> the pair felt like they were dreaming. Get it? Because cause that's the title. Get it? It's a dream. Anyway, <laughs> they felt like they were dreaming as they held hands and drifted away. Their small diaphanous wings flitted and carried them to where they saw before them a lovely garden. Oh, no, 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 no. Their small diaphanous wings flitted about and carried them to where they saw before them. What? What did I do here? Okay, so they have small diaphanous wings. They're flitting about, and the wings carried them to a place where they saw a lovely garden of flowers. <laughs> Squirrel and Sho giddily flitted about the garden from flower to flower. Now, okay, when I first read this, I I don't know what was what was up with me, but so this is how flowers have sex, like birds and bees running about pollinating. I don't know it's what I was thinking. They didn't even notice when a beautiful goddess was standing right in front of them. Oh. She informed our companions that they were never, never under any circumstances to travel to the northern edge of the grove. So, as you can imagine, ladies and gentlemen, they listened precisely to her warning and refrained from doing so, thus making this the end of the episode. I'd let no, okay, that's not what happened. From the moment they arrived in the garden, the two had been inseparable, but... Squirrel suddenly took it upon himself to venture off alone straight toward the north end of the garden. <laughs> this left Sho to try and keep himself afloat as he began to sink down into the rose's floral shadow. Oh, 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 eh. But the roses gave way to another part of the grove, a scattered blooming of prunella. So, I don't know if this is entirely re relevant, but the, the Japanese for this literally translates to quiver weed, like a quiver of arrows. Um, the common name in English is usually heal all. Um, I don't know if that's relevant, but prunella, heal all, quiver weed, call it what you will. The air was filled with the inexplicable fragrance of sweet nectar. <sighs> Squirrel and Sho were enraptured by the flowers and nearly drunk on their smell as they peered down into them. <laughs> Among the various flowers, Squirrel found an enticing pool of honey-sweet nectar, so he flew down into it. 
However, that's when a petal on top of the flower suddenly flapped shut and held fast like a lid. <coughs> Shochan was shocked to discover that when he tried to open the flower, no matter what he did, it just wouldn't budge. <coughs> He stopped for a moment to plan out his next move, and flew off to where he might find an axe. <laughs> Thus continuing the theme of weapons that appear out of nowhere. <laughs> um, if you remember from the first episode, Sho suddenly had a saber, so now he's suddenly going to have an axe. <laughs> Once Sho returned, looking about, he could not remember which flower it was that had devoured his friend. Uh, 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 he had no choice then but to chop them all down, one after the other. Whack! 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 And every time he cut one down, he'd open up the flower to check inside, but Squirrel was nowhere to be found. And after some time hacking away, the flowers of the grove were all gone, disappeared as if in a dream. Get it? Because it's a... It's, uh, never mind. An indescribable sadness began to fill Sho's heart. Tears, too many to count, streamed down his cheek in huge drops. <laughs> and wherever the tears fell, a voice feebly called out to Sho-chan. Sho! Sho! Sho pressed his ear to the ground to listen. It was Squirrel! Sho cried out in despair, Squirrel! Oh, Squirrel! And at long last, the goddess reappeared and stood quietly behind him. That's when the goddess said to Sho, as she gently wiped his tears away, well, I told you so, you little... No, actually, she says... It matters not how many adventures you embark upon, you must always remember to do as you are told. That's right, kids. Follow the rules, or the flowers will eat you. That is, that is today's lesson. Then she delicately lifted up her sleeve, and Squirrel burst forth. And that is what Sho was imagining as he woke from his dream on a spring day where butterflies were fluttering about over the fresh grass. And scene. That's all for this week's episode. I realize it was a bit of a short one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really liked this video, you can support my work on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga, all one word. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, uh, links for which can be found in the description down below. I'll be back next week with another episode of Manga Trans Dub Theater. But until then, don't let the man get you down. Bye-bye.